Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to give you a little introduction to keying. And what I'm talking about when I'm talking about keying is t taking like um, something off a background, like a green screen, and isolating it. So the real meaning of keying is um, what you're actually doing is you're creating an alpha channel that isolates the object or whatever um, is going on in the scene and you're isolating it from the background that they're originally shot against most of the time people are gonna shoot against a green screen and um, that's because green has less noise in its uh, channel that, and uh, blue is a little bit noisier when you have someone with like blonde hair or something like that usually people will use a blue screen because blonde hair kinda mixes in with green pretty well and uh, so they'll use a blue screen for that it's a, a green screen or a blue screen it, all it is is just a backdrop that is a solid green color or a solid blue color. Now there's different types of green screens that people or blue screens that people will shoot on <clears throat> and for example in this video here let me uh, zoom out a little bit so this person has pretty much just taken a sheet that and just set it up and the sheet is a solid color and he um, wants people to pull the green screen off from this sheet. Now there's problems with this and there's good things about this. Um, the good thing is that it's really cheap and it's portable if you're just using like a, a piece of cloth or a sheet that's uh, this color. The bad things about it is that you can see um, creases and folds in the sheet and the worst part about this is this person looks like they folded the sheet instead of rolling it up so um, there's creases that'll um, basically mess with your color king and not make it so gr as great um, the folds create these like little shadows and you can see that this part of the green right here is different from the green that's right underneath it so this is brighter and this is darker and uh, same with all the folds another thing about using a sheet is that if you don't hold it down the wind can blow it around and that will definitely mess around with things and you don't want that so another kind of green screen that you can use um, would be like a studio green screen and I'll uh, if you just type in green screen studio this is uh, what will come up in Google Images and it will be something like something like this and the background um, is all solid there's no creases or anything like that which is nice and then you can put lighting up around the bad thing about these is that they're huge and uh, some and they're gonna be expensive you need to repaint these every once in a while because they'll fade and um, usually people just don't have these you have to go like pay for use pay for their use or something like that like companies when I lived in California would just have like a place where people could go and shoot green screen and people would rent out that place for the day now <clears throat> there's other types of green screens that you can use like uh, um, ones that pop out and uh, give you it's kind of like a combination of the sheet and the background the backdrop but um, definitely not as big but um, it's just like another type of portable green screen that might not be as uh, wrinkly and stuff like that but that's pretty much it for those kind of green screens and a little bit about what's going on for green screens now if you're thinking about keying it doesn't always have to be off of a green screen or a blue screen. There is color keying which um, you basically is just taking out a color so if I wanted to take out all of this green color that, and just leave all the other colors that's called color keying. There is also something called luma keying which um, it works well for stuff like uh, white backgrounds or black backgrounds um, <clears throat> that um, pretty much are or like white text on black or something like that which is uh, 
easy to take like the luminance values of and key them out and uh, something like if you're trying to like key out some smoke out of like a shot that has a uh, um, like no green screen background or a black background or anything like that you're just trying to key out some smoke you can uh, use luma keys for that also there's uh, different techniques and different types of keys and those are just a few of them there's three different um, steps you should consider when you're using green screen sometimes you don't have control over every single step but if you do consider um, these three steps there is um, shooting your video footage in the best quality that you can and using a the best backdrop quality that you can so you want to make sure that you want to iron your uh, green screen you want to <clears throat> make sure that you're shooting in the highest resolution that you can and uh, make sure that your lighting is correct the next part is the actual keying and that's what we'll be going over in the later tutorials and the third part is uh, compositing so you're not just gonna key this out and just leave it there and uh, have it over a transparent background you're gonna wanna put it into your scene so we're gonna end up going over that also and that is called compositing so when you take another element and put it into another seat an element from one set of footage and put it into another set of footage that's called compositing and um, there's ways to make it work so that it actually looks like it's in there obviously um, so those are what the uh, um, ways we can talk about green screen and color keying and all that stuff is so I'll uh, end this introduction and um, let's uh, head on and start doing some tutorials about what's going on just wanted to give you guys a basic uh, background information on color keying. So see you guys later in the next tutorial. Goodbye.